Hey, what's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling with me a b now check this out i know you guys read that title you didn't see that thumbnail so you know what we're doing i'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make a southwestern style you know stuffed bell pepper i don't know what kind of words i'm gonna use or what you guys had just read but i can tell you this right now look this is super easy they fire big on flavor and so with that being said let's go ahead and just go over these ingredients all right so look i'm gonna start off this way look this is long grain rice you guys can use any type of rice you would like but i'm gonna start with just long grain rice right here okay now when we talk about the cheese this is for the tops of them right i got pepper jack and i got provolone now let me go ahead and go to the star right now you see these right here look at this color right here you want to talk about presentation once i get these prepped and put these out i promise you everybody gonna probably put their hand on them just take them and put them on their plate all right now look we got ground beef you're gonna need some ground beef I'll do the cans last. We got cumin, chili powder, garlic cloves, tomato paste. This is just one rib of celery. For those of you guys that like to have a little bit more celery, you can use two. Over here, I already diced down my onion. We got a little cilantro. Of course, we got kosher salt, that black pepper. Now. When you come to cooking your rice, I'm gonna show it this way. If you guys don't have any chicken stock, chicken broth, nothing like that, you can use water, but for me, I'm gonna go ahead and use my chicken broth. Now, let's talk about these cans right here. Look, I got diced tomatoes, and these are them fire roasted ones, right? These right here are fire. Just like leveling up the flavor, folks. Black beans. And here, we got our diced green chilies. Don't forget, all my videos, you know, I don't put them on the screen too much. I do it sometimes, but when there's a lot of ingredients like this, which this is really not a lot, but it's just a little bit more work. What I do is look down at the description box below and the full ingredient list is down there. So with that being said, let's move this off my cutting board and let's make this happen. Okay, so look, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prep and get everything ready, you know, with our bell peppers, right? So I guess I'm gonna just take this one right here. So you see this? I just wanna show you guys this. <clears throat> if you see, a lot of them don't even stand up. Like you put it down like that, that one stands up. But this one right here, look at this one. There is no stand up, right? So what we want to do is lay it on the side, right? And what I want to do is I want to cut the least amount, but I want to make sure that it still got the whole circumference, right? But I want to cut it square and true. So you want to watch, to watch your angle. And then you just go ahead and make your cut like that. And then if you take it and you set it down like that, now you know this is stand up on its own. But don't discard this, this right here. We are gonna save that too. Now, we gotta do the same thing with the top, right? So now we are gonna go ahead and just cut this down like this. But we got it now, you see that? Now I'm gonna go ahead, I think I'm gonna use my petty knife. You know, a smaller knife, super sharp, you know what I mean? And, uh, the thing is, you just want to be precise. So I talk a lot about being, you know, on my channel about having a proper tool for the job. So I just want to stick this in like this, just like that. Just like you see here, right? And then when that's done, this piece will just come out just like you see. Look, that, you don't want to disturb it. See all of the seeds, but you can see that right there, right? I'm going to clean some of that off in there too. But right now, this is what you want to do. It will be a good time for you to go ahead and preheat your oven, right? Because listen, we're going to put these bell peppers in there and we're going to soften them up just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and preheat everything to 350 degrees and get you started. And I'm going to finish the rest of them. I'm not going to bore you with that, but you got the gist of it. You've seen how easy it is. Let me finish these and then we'll move over to the next step. Okay, so you guys can see all of these are done. You know, look at that right there. And look at those colors right there. If that don't say spring and summer, I don't know what will. Now, these pieces over here on the side, you remember we cut these off? What I'm gonna tell you, what you can do is you can dice these down and add this to your ground beef, you know, to your filling also, right? So I'm just gonna take these. This is just the right amount, the right amount for myself. But you know what, we have some extra. You guys can put as much of these in the inside of your filling as possible. So let me dice this down and then we are gonna go ahead and uh, you know go ahead and make some real real nice goodness okay now look my oven it's up to temp right but first thing i'm gonna do is i've already brought my cast iron skillet that's nice and hot i'm gonna go ahead and take my ground beef 
Put that in there like that, and I'm just gonna leave it like this, just so I can get a little char on the bottom before I break it up. Okay, now, you saw this, we already prepped this, right? I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in my preheated oven. I'm gonna put it in there for about 10 minutes. What I wanna do is just to start to soften these up just a little bit, right? So I'll put these in, we'll set a timer for 10 minutes and then we're gonna finish on that ground beef. Okay, so look, so I done broke it all up. You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys can see that, but you see a little pink, this is good. It's almost cooked throughout, right? So now that I have it like this, I like to use one of these wooden spoons with the square edge, real nice for doing this. And by the way, I do have a potato masher or some type of, I don't know if that's the exact name of it, but I got one made out of silicone to help do this ground beef and check it out. I left it in my truck. Hey, but you guys are gonna be seeing that. Listen, for the person that told me about that tip, man, that was spot on. All right, so here we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my onion. It might look like a lot of onion, but trust me, you're gonna want a little onion in this right here. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our, you know, bell peppers, okay? So now I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a stir, get this mixed in so these can start to soften up. Once I have them like this, I just let them move around for about 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my celery. Okay, so here's the part that put the smile on my face. It's time to go ahead and, you know, press some of these, this, these garlic cloves, right? That's up to you. You can use three, but you don't want the garlic to overpower, you know, your meal, and you want to still have that southwestern taste to it, right? You know, that feel to it. So we'll just go ahead and just use two. But in the description box, you'll see, I'll say you can use two or three. Okay, so this is cooking good. You can look at the color of the onions. You can look at just the color of all the veggies and see that it's starting to cook down, right? That's good right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just take my diced onions. I mean, excuse me, my diced tomatoes. And don't forget, I use these fire roasted because look, we trying to level it up. It makes a difference, right? Oh yeah. I'm gonna come with my paste. This is my tomato paste. We're gonna hit it with a little chili powder, cumin. Now we're gonna let it, we're gonna let this cook for about five minutes. But what I wanna do is make sure everything is incorporated, you know, mixed and blended well. All right, so I let this cook for about five minutes, right? Now it's time to add just a little bit of salt to it. You gotta do something to wake up these flavors, right? So I just give it like just about two pinches and I start from there. This is what I like to do. And then if I need any more at the end, I just salt my individual pepper, you know? So now I'm gonna go ahead and just add some of this. Ah, that right there tell me them bell peppers, they done. Now we wanna check that. Okay, so I just checked my bell peppers. To me, I think they need to go another five minutes, so that'll be a total of 15 minutes. We don't wanna cook them all the way down, but we want them to be just a little bit on the soft side, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and introduce my beans, right? So we'll take our can of black beans. We're gonna come with our corn and then our chilies. I know that's a lot of chili, hey, for you guys that don't like it that hot, you know what I mean? A little bit on the spicy side, but cooking it down, it's not gonna be as hot as you guys think. But what you can do is just add half a can. Now, we're gonna go ahead and just give this a mix. But tell me what you guys think about that right there. That's a whole lot of goodness. To be honest with you, this is a meal right here. You could take this, add yourself some andouille sausages in here like that and serve this like that with some garlic bread or something like that. Hey, either way, it's gonna be fire. Now, we got the cilantro, right? I'm just gonna cut this big stem out of here that I just saw. But I'm gonna be honest with you, you guys, you know what I mean? When I do this sometime, I don't take none of this out. I take them like this and I just get to chopping, you know? So after we get this nice and fine, you know what I mean? We just go from there and then we are gonna add that. Then we are gonna add our rice. After we add our rice, we are gonna add our chicken stock. We are gonna cook it and then we finna stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna take my cilantro and just sprinkle it in here like this. You know what I mean? And we'll just get us a mix. And then we'll go ahead and get our rice. Right? Now, what you wanna do is you wanna take your chicken stock. Now remember, if you don't have chicken stock, chicken broth, you don't have that, you can use water. It'll still come out, you know, just as good. I mean, I'm gonna just say it comes out good. But when you use flavored chicken broth, chicken stock, something like this, this right here makes it over the top. Now, we're just gonna add this. We're gonna take it. We're just gonna pour this in here like that. Now I know I only have so many bell peppers, but believe me, you can have this. Keep this off, you know, whatever you have extra that don't go inside of there, just 
Hey, this make a cold burrito too, y'all. Now, what I forgot to say was, listen, you want to make sure that your pan that you're using, you got a lid. Because look, we want to cook that and let that get nice and hot and let that liquid and every all of the flavors marinate and then absorb into the rice. So cover it. We're going to cook this for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're going to go, you know, pull this out. And then, hey, I'm going to put together some magic for y'all. Okay, my timer just went off. We 20 minutes in, right? You can see just how full it is. So I'm going to go ahead. Let me take this. Ah, yeah. Look at this right here. Now, I didn't already get you guys the whole, you know, I gave the, the whole card up and told you about go ahead and make a, uh, you know, a burrito. But we're going to do it like this. This right here is nice. Still nice and moist. I'm going to go ahead and turn this fire off. Right? I'm going to leave the top off, you know, so that it can, like, just steam. Try out just a little bit, right? Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring the bell peppers into play. Take a look at that right there. Now, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and get us a spoonful, and then we just going to go ahead and pack these in. You know, just stuff them. Super easy. You guys got it from here. I'm going to do one so you guys can see it. We'll do the big one like this. I like to have mine a little bit of a dome on top, right? I'll show you why. Why? Because I'm gonna take a slice of this provolone, and I got it. I just wanna scoot this over here like that. I'm gonna take this and just put this on here. Just like you see. Now, let me go ahead and do the rest. I'm gonna do some with provolone, and I'm gonna do some with pepper jack. Super easy, you guys. Okay, so you can see, got them all stuffed, right? So I just took this off, because look, the heat from these, coming out of the oven would just start to make them, well, what am I trying to say? It'll start melting the cheese. So I'm just gonna put provolone on three of these. No, let's do it like this. Let's, let's keep it so it look right, right? And I don't mind if they overlap, you know what I mean? I just wanted to make some with some different cheese, right? So we'll put this one here, this one over here on the other. And look, we're gonna put these back in the oven for about, uh, I'm gonna say about 10 minutes. Oven nice and hot, bell peppers and the stuffing is nice and hot. So look, it's not gonna take much to melt this, but we just wanna melt these over the top. It's gonna continue to soften up some of the, uh, some of the bell peppers. But outside of that, this is what it is. Remember, set a timer for 10 minutes and keep your eyes on it. Okay, I want you guys to tell me what you think about that there. Hey, that right there is gonna be fire. Remember, we do use two types of cheese. You can use cheddar cheese. You can use whatever you like, but that's what I put on mine. I did that provolone and that pepper jack. This right here, this the money getter. Now, let me put one of these on a the plate and I'm eager to go ahead and hurry up and cut one of these because guess what, folks? I'm hungry. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and get one of these out of here and put it on this plate. You know what I mean? And uh, go from there. Now, I know some of you guys are probably worried like, will the bottom fall out but listen once you put them in the oven you know what i mean it kind of like just packs itself in there but take a look at that right there folks if that don't say fire i don't know what does i'm gonna go ahead i'm just gonna cut it down the middle so you guys can just check it out and see how it is right so we just take it oh it's super soft you know what i mean perfect get it like that we'll lay this down so you guys can see look at that right there Ooh wee. hey so i'm not gonna waste no time I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that just like that, right? Just go ahead and do it like this. Now I'm gonna let this cool before I put this in my mouth. I ain't finna do nothing crazy, cause listen, I do wanna taste some food later on today. Hey, so just give me a few minutes, let it cool off enough for me to put it in my mouth, and let's eat. All right, so now it's time for the taste test. This right here, I always use that word fire. Hey, this is perfect. Hmm. Hey, I can't do nothing but laugh, folks. You wanna talk about something that's good, this is it. And I wanna say this, listen, this is a visual guide, right? To show you how I make it. Look, trust the process. 
Even though I cut the bottoms, listen, they still cook. Rice still swells, packs itself inside, and the bottoms don't fall out. I had a spatula just in case, you know what I mean? But just get yourself some tongs, take them out, put them on the plate, say your prayers, and get to eat. Now, so listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like, subscribe, and ring that bell, right? So you can be notified every time I drop one of these fire recipes. And with that being said, you guys, I'm out of here. Peace.